Shout out to the Rastas Reliable. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me start with a disclaimer. In no way do I promote violence aside from self-protection. This video discussion will explore the difference between whoopings and abuse regarding child rearing and at the expense of sounding like the proverbial old schoolers. <laughs> In my day as a youth, my granny was a switch person. My aunt was a capital punishment person. So, for example, my aunt's husband was an avid coffee consumer who smoked the stuffed tobacco pipe and he would buy the large clear container of pipe tobacco that smelled good to me in cooperation with the smell of freshly percolated coffee in the air uh, when, I, when I would go and visit. When that container was empty, my aunt filled the container full of dimes. Me being the ever so curious child, discovered the container full of dimes that literally looked like discovering a gold mine. I began stealing the dimes. I don't know why I was doing that or how my aunt and or, and or her husband knew that I was taking them, but they knew nonetheless. I remember her grabbing my arm and taking me into the kitchen, turning on the stove top to a high flame and speaking the speaking words of of discouragement of, of stealing while moving my hand closer and closer to the flame. I do not know how I still feel what I felt then now, but I do. And I am in my mid 40s, mind you. As stated, my granny was the type to tell you to go out and cut a switch. Now, this type is far worse than the switching itself because the mentality of going to get an item knowing pain is coming could be enough to persuade one from doing whatever incited the punishment from the jump. Both my granny and aunt always explained why I received said punishment, which is one side of the scale that would ensure a balance that is spoken about adamantly on this channel. My mom was on the other side of the scale. And stay tuned and like, share, and comment. Subscribe if you see if you receive any of edification from the content here on Rastas Realities. Thank you. Now, my mom did then what most do now by having multiple babies with various guys without commitment to ensure that the family dynamics were as whole as possible. Before I continue, my mother did the best that she could with what she had, and this story is not meant for any form of disrespect. It is more of an uh, it's more of a of an accountability. Do not do this. And there may be better ways to accomplish positive results type of talk. Continuing, stress can make one do things to others who lack problems, problem solving skills. This was my mother. I do not hold it against her, but like others, I will hold her. I will hold even her accountable. Now, what others deem abuse was punishment in her eyes. My mother was the punch you square in the chest, ext extension cord, broomstick swinging, slap you in the mouth type. I will admit that yes, some of the aforementioned is abuse that I never participated with. Well, bleh, excuse me, that I never participated in with my sons. This is precisely why no matter how much my second son's mom would display hoish tendencies to make the relationship harder to deal with, to make parenting harder to, harder to deal with, I remain vigilant to the proper rearing of my second born. In doing so, I came up with so many ways to punish wrongdoing with a minimal of physicality that provided a far better mindset for both the child and myself. The moral of the story is some people need butt whoopings. 
Some need material things removed. And some just need a look from a person to discourage rogue or unfavorable behavior. There's no umbrella treatment for these things. It is a case-by-case -case scenario, so pay attention. I am tough. I'm, I'm a tough being that I believe was from birth. But what others deemed abuse back then has given me thicker skin in a society that tells boys and men that you are not liked, loved, or even wanted. We all know that is a lie as I share some insight on me, and that's the reality.